Van Andel Arena has proven to be a home sweet home for the Grand Rapids Griffins with an 8-1 record in the last nine in downtown GR. Jeff Blaschel and company look to continue that success and end a current four-game losing streak. Tonight represents the first of a home-and-home -home with the struggling Lake Erie Monsters. Another huge crowd will file into the Van Andel Arena tonight to see if the Griffins can maintain a sizable lead at the top of the Midwest Division standings. For the Monsters, it's desperation hockey as they sit on the outside looking in on the playoff picture with only one month remaining in the regular season. One thing we didn't show was offense to defense transition. So off every turnover they're going. We've got to make sure we're reloading as hard as possible, we're recovering above as hard as possible. And we talked earlier this week about winning net front and puck battles. Let's make sure here it's 60 minutes of hard and smart. Hard and smart for 60 minutes. We need these points here, let's go get them. Job there, stop with the puck, and then he'll bypass it. Need it or go D to D, and you guys can keep it moving. I thought when we did bypass it, work, well, we got to do a better job cutting off for each other, okay? Because we're getting our D run a little bit. Rim that puck hard to the bottom, and then spread them out. Cut backs, but don't just cut back. Cut back and attack. We got a guy beat. Take it to the net hard. Let's keep having a net presence. The transition has to be better. We gave up a few too many rushes. We got way more in this here. We played with good energy for sure, but we got to eliminate their chances. Let's do that. Love good for you. My oh, boy's not fast enough. Keep going. Get back. Break out together. Get to the neutral zone. Get it behind them. Spend the whole time in their end. Or we can turn box over and play these on the rest of the night. Tough done. Wing circle to the slot to Malone, got by him right to Stollery, and they score. 258, we've got a brand new game, tied to two. Hey, which? We gotta do something else in the PK faceoffs, because uh, they jump too hard. We're gonna have to drop wing. We got some way to take that away, because the D man we can't get there in time. So if this is a lefty coming back here, and he's got a guy out of center, make the read, that bypass is coming. You can't just fling it to the middle, winger, unless you know for sure your center's there. You gotta know your center's there, so your center's gotta be talking, and then we push the pace like this, so we're all five together still. We're not all strung out. They if not get back, we'll go take the tape out of her and cut it, cut it up. 20 minutes, 20 minutes hard here with a hot Let's go. Yeah. Come on, here. There we go. That'll get us one. That'll get us one. Come on, boy. She be above, be above. Attack the net off those things. Attack the net. Touch the net. Good move right for the net shot. Score! Landon Perron with a play for the Griffins. Move back on top. Now in front, Lake Erie scores. Right off a rebound. Mike Scarboza, and we're tied at three. Close line, close line. Take hits to make plays out here. Give some back here. Come on, get to your spot. Can't play fast. We don't get back fast. All right, here we go now. Five minutes of sudden death overtime. Make sure. As we're still really talking, you still got you can't let anybody get on the other side of you there, okay? That deflects wide, and we're heading to a shootout here at Van Ham. Joey Hishon in the fourth round. Wide left, wide right, slowly in, shoots and scores, and Lake Erie's got the lead, and the Griffins now have to score in the fifth round to keep it alive. Frankie Perry, two for three in shootouts, has to score. Fifth round, he's got the puck right in on Ida Collio. Goes backhand, he stopped, and the Lake Erie Monsters for the first time in two months have won a game on the road. Uh, they get a point here tonight to the Griffins, but very disappointing. They certainly wanted to. 
coming off that three game losing streak on the road and now the Monsters will get that rare win on the road and also head home with a little bit of confidence as these same two teams now head to Cleveland for the home and home finale tomorrow night. Uh, I thought uh, you know our compete level was high tonight. I think they're playing real hard. They were real good. It was a real tight game and we lost the shootout. So. I'm not worried about a stretch, uh, I'm worried about tomorrow night. Uh, I see one road game ahead of us, which is tomorrow. We'll get on the bus tonight, get there, and we'll play a real good Lake Erie team. Well, we just got to do all the little things right all the time. Uh, everybody else is fighting hard for points too. So if you do it right all the time, uh, you give yourself the best chance to win, and, and you're not going to win them all, but you'll win more than not. So we're just going to do every, every little thing right all the time. Regardless if you know, we could have a 20 point lead, it's over our division, it wouldn't matter. I mean, we gotta, we gotta figure it out here. It's, you know, we're, we're skilled enough that we're in games, but at the same time, you know, we score three goals, we score four, it doesn't, you know, we, gotta, we gotta be able to make sure that we get a win out of it. Uh, it's, uh, it's at this point of the season, it's a bit of a grind, especially to go on the road for, for two weeks. Um, but you know, this is this is where it counts, and this is where you can really separate yourself from the bottom teams, or uh, you know, you let that race get tight. So hopefully, we get this straightened out and uh, get it going. Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. We're not playing our best right now. I think we're playing quite desperate enough uh, for what time of season it is. But we were better tonight than we have been in the previous two. So hopefully, that's a good indicator of how we'll be tomorrow and uh, keep going in the right direction. You ever wonder how many miles? I mean, I, you know, some guys will, you know, will sit around and talk about that, uh, you know, trying to figure out how many miles I've been on a bus, how many miles I've been on a plane. You ever wonder about that? Oh, thinking about now, probably enough to go around the world a couple of times. <laughs> Sadly, yes. Uh, I, forget, I think it was like 18, 18 or 19. Um, we were uh, doing our Eastern swing there, so we went through all this Saskatchewan and. Some genius <laughs> idea was to play in Brandon last, so then, uh, then we bust all the way back to Vancouver. Then halfway through, we stopped at uh, Robin Big Snake's uh, reserve and ate some bannock and did a little rain dance, whatever it was. And it was, uh, <laughs> I don't think none of us were in the mood to do it, but it was, it was kind of a cool experience. And I think, yeah, we rolled for 15 hours and got to eat, ate some bannock, then got on the bus for another 15 hours. but. Guys are kind of ready to kill each other. Guys are out of money and yeah. <laughs> out of movies to watch by, by time. It was a good 20, 30 hour trip, so uh, that was definitely a, a grind. The difference between winning and losing is minuscule. And it's been minuscule all year, but we've done enough good things to, to put ourselves in a real good position. Now we got to continue to do those good things. You know, we got to have to do everything right for 60 minutes. And if you do everything right for 60 minutes, you give yourself a great chance to win every game. And, that, and that's all we can do. The, we've got to focus on the process. We've got to make sure that's good. And, and we've got to make sure uh, we come out and, and be prepared to play 60. Let's make sure from the drop of the puck, we're executing for 60 minutes every shift. Our details are good, but our competition level's real high. They out hit us last night. Let's make sure we out hit them tonight. Okay, starting the net for us. Tommy McCullough. My Tommy. Edmonton Dillon. You're Phil Ferraro Mursak. Just got to make sure we're doing stuff right all the time. I thought, honestly, 
through the course of the game, we did a lot of good things. We've been together for about five days. That's it. So we did a lot of good things. Okay, so now we're going to take another step forward tomorrow. How many times we play this team uh, this year? Seven? Six? Six. Six? Okay. So far, the Rads, you, you stuck up for your teammate. At the end there, Andy face it all. But I'm going to make sure they know every six times, every time we play them all year, and those six times, we're going to grind the power. You guys understand? Yeah. All right, we win games. All hand on the game clock. The first time only, and then that guy gets it hands out after the next win, okay? For uh, not only one, not only tonight, but for the weekend. All right, all right. Yeah. Get the <laughs> Good effort tonight, boys. <laughs> I think uh, Rats out was really good tonight, so uh, I'll just give it that. Supposed to ask about an instigator on the second one there. We don't have an instigator. We talked about it at length. We've got both. I should have told you. We've got both fights happening simultaneously. We have the trip that's starting everything, and then two fights broke out. It's five really? four. Kind of a mission. Oh, just power for, for what? Go get it. Wait, here we go. Gonna dig down now. Like, come on, boys. start here in Cleveland as the Monsters look like the best team in the history of the American Hockey League in the first 10 minutes as the Griffins are in a deep hole early in this one. Execute, you gotta have details and you gotta dig and it's just shit by shit by shit. You score and the next thing you know, score to the Let's go, boy. Yeah.
The ice off for score! Adam Omquist on a terrific pass boy. He was left all by himself. Unbelievable come from behind, and I'm really happy this guy had a good game because he's been wanting to kill himself on the bus playing cards. Yeah. Homer. Oh, yeah. 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 Second thing, Todd, second thing is I actually gave her one of these when we won that. Yeah. That's a huge, huge, huge come from behind win. Okay, let's get out of here. Right. Get some rest, go back to work, get back winning. Good job.